If you had asked me five years ago, where would I be in my life? I would not think I would be sitting here right now in front of this camera talking to 300,000 plus subscribers. About two weeks ago, I hit a milestone, which was 300K on YouTube. 300,000 people who watch me on YouTube, or at least have hit the subscribe button. Whether or not YouTube sends out the video to them, that's debatable, because YouTube isn't always the most reliable system to get those videos out. But this video today is to tell you what's next for this channel specifically. People know me as the, con the channel that goes everywhere. I do cooking videos, I've done talks, uh, religious videos, educational videos, videos on mental health, video game videos, uh, let's plays, um, random things talking about things in my life that is happening, life experiences, like, my channel is everywhere. My channel doesn't stay on one specific thing like a lot of channels do. You know, you have a comedy channel, you make comedy. I can't, I'm all over the place because that's what works for me. That's what you guys like. That's what I love doing because if I tentatively set a schedule and say, I'm only going to make these types of videos, I'll stop making YouTube because the variety that I present to you guys, the content that I give you, is what keeps me going on YouTube. But not only that, what keeps me going on this channel is primarily the amount of feedback and emails that I get from people like you telling me that you've, that my videos have helped you in numerous different ways. I mean, I attended Vlogger Fair uh, a couple, uh, just last weekend. Uh, Chris Prillo and a bunch of other vloggers were there, um, some bigger YouTubers, and I had a bunch of my subscribers, fans of mine, come up to me about 12 in total, which was awesome. I got to meet you guys and talk to you individually. And some of the stories that you guys told me about yourself and how my videos on self-harm is not the answer, on depression, and um, my videos specifically regarding weight and body images have helped you so much, was overwhelming to me. It almost made me cry. Um, I'm someone who tries to hold back the tears because I don't like crying in videos, but it was so humbling to have people come up to me and tell me how much their videos, my videos, have changed them. It makes, it inspires me to keep doing what I'm doing. So this video essentially is to say thank you to each and every one of you who watch my videos. I don't, even if you give me criticism, even if you don't like me, that's okay. You watch my content and I appreciate that. Even if you dislike it, I appreciate that one extra view because you saw it. You got to see part of me what I was trying to share and the points I was trying to make, but most of all, what I was trying to help other people with. And that means so much to me. Now, my last milestone I hit, which was 200,000 subscribers, I did a competition, uh, not a competition, but a giveaway where I gave some 3DSs away. But today, I want to do something different for my milestone of hitting 300,000 subscribers. I'm not going to be giving anything away, but rather I want to do my first ever live charity stream event on Twitch.tv on my, over on my Twitch stream. I want to stream live for 24 hours straight while you and me raise money for what is known as Child's Play. Child's Play is a organization that raises money for children in hospitals and children in need and is where groups of video gamers like myself donate money to help children suffering and going through different types of hardships and diseases and struggles in s hospitals. That's what it is. Child's Play. If I read you the statement right now on their website, it says, Child's Play seeks to improve the lives of children in hospitals around the world through kindness and gener generosity of the video game industry and the power of play. When gamers give back, it makes a difference. Their link is linked down below. You can check them out for yourself. They're a legitimate, awesome organization. And I don't know when I'm going to be doing this. I don't have a date scheduled for when I'm going to be doing this 24-hour live stream. But the goal is, and I'm going to aim low because I've never done a charity stream like this, is to raise $5,000 for Child's Play for Children in Need. And I'll be doing a 24-hour live stream on my Twitch. Um, when this happens, I'll be announcing it like two weeks ahead of time so you guys can prepare. This money does not go to me. I don't touch any money. The money goes straight to the organization. They're going to set me up with a vanity URL to where you guys donate, and the bar goes up as donations come through. I'm really excited to do this because I've always wanted to do something and give back to people who are less fortunate than me, than you, than people as we know. This video is also titled What's Next, and that is to give you a kind of a sneak peek on what's going to be happening to my channel because I have two new segments here on my channel that I plan on giving to you guys, 
and that is what is known as what is and who is. What is is where I take a concept or a thing, for example, the video that you're, the first video you're going to get from me is what is the Bill of Rights. I want to start spanning ed education more, and I'm going to be doing a short five through ten five through ten minute video of talking about what is the Bill of Rights. What is the Constitution? What is this? What is that? What is theology? Or what it, you know what what is something? And I want it to be educational because I feel as if today's society is education in public schools is really, really shitty. And if there's a lot of people who don't know what the Bill of Rights is. And I think that's an important thing within history that people should know about. The second segment is who is, which I've talked about this in one of my previous videos. But this is where I take a character who can either be real, fictional, or a fantasy character like Darth Vader, and I do a biography slash video compilation where I talk to the camera on who is this character. And I think that would be awesome. Who is Luke Skywalker? Who is R2-D2? Who is, you know, Boba Fett? And where I give information about these characters that you may or may not already know about. Who is and what is? Those are the two new segments that I start on doing on my channel. I have Anime 101, an uh, anime series that I started. I have Ask Rep series. I have Face Palm Sunday. So I got a lot of stuff planned for the future. It's just a matter of me getting organized and actually taking the time to film it and make it. Because for those of you who don't know, this video that you're watching here is exactly how all my other videos go. I don't script my videos. I have no outline. I don't plan what I'm going to say. I turn on the camera. If it's a video response, I have the video up on the screen, and I play that video, and I have the camera on as I'm playing, and I respond to it live. The videos that I make are not scripted whatsoever, so I fumble over my words. I say the wrong things. I say the pronunciations wrong all the time. My dyslexia shouts to the camera, but I want it to be more real. I don't want a thousand et jump cuts in everything that I do, and if I make a mistake in a video, I try to correct it in my speech and my crap. My crap. Anyways, this video is essentially saying thank you to each and every one of you who have made my channel possible for growing and continues to grow as it is, that I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for you guys. I may not even be out of my religious household that I got out, out of if it wasn't for you guys making my channel what it is so I can provide an income for myself um, among getting some awesome new sponsors as of recent to where I can provide an income for myself to get out of that toxic religious environment. So I thank you because I give you guys credit for all of that, for making what I am right now, where I'm at right now, possible. Thank you, each and every one of you. I appreciate all of my fellow reptiles. Thank you.